Thank you very much for watching here in conversation with Holly Hughes and the wonderful, amazing, delightful Holly Hughes, who's here. Uh, she gets two introductions and Sam Crosby just says hello, Pam. <laughs> hello, buddy. How are you, mate? Um, now, guess what happens when you just let the market decide? I know. Eventually, the market will pick its own winners and losers. And I noticed that uh, the latest car sales for the last month have come out and they do show that the Ford Range is still up there as number one and the D-Max, I think, is at number two. But guess what's number three? the Tesla. And the Tesla is only about a thousand car sales lower than the number one position right mm. now. So why are we going through a conversation where we're trying to create a price disincentive for cars number one and two when obviously sometime this year, maybe next month, the Tesla will be the number one sold car in the country. Sam. So catch me up. The, the price differential you're talking about is the fuel standards? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't understand, for the love of God, I don't understand why you guys are so worked up about this. So, Australia and Russia were the only two no, advanced right. countries in the world without these standards. No so one is saying that cars, standard. Chinese cars are currently cleaner than Australian cars. We're asking for Chinese air quality, and you guys are all carrying on like it's a carbon tax. Mate. We're just saying, send us the sort of cars Mate. that are allowed to be sold in, in, in Japan, in China, yes. in the US, yes. in the UK. Yes. Send us that quality of car. Yeah, but here's the thing. The cars that are carved out and are exempt to be used in places like the United States are the ones that will be banned in places like Australia, some of the big sort of Yank Tank stuff and some of the bigger sizes of, of utes and SUVs. My issue is, again, you do you, right? You choose you. At the end of the day, Australia is 1% of the world's problem, OK? Because we don't make cars here anymore, we can have that hour-long discussion at some other point in time. It, yeah, but, but, air, but quality, still... air quality is not climate. Air quality is the shit you breathe in, right? 100%. No, no, no. So fuel efficiency standards, we are not against fuel efficiency standards. We are against Blackout Bowen's ca Thank his fuel efficiency Blackout standard. Bowen. Well, I could call him Casanova. That's what he Yeah, Casanova's the best. God I, love I, you, Ray I Hadley. That's a great get that one. on Hadley, Casanova, uh, on, uh, on Hansard oh, a couple good. of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I send it through to Ray. So He'll he love knows. it. But, you know, Casanova Bowen, like everything he does, it's ideological, it's too hard, it's too fast, True. and it's going to have unintended consequences. And he tries to put it all through with NDAs, doesn't want to talk to people who don't oh, agree the with NDA him. Thing kills I mean, the NDAs. If NDIS. NDAs, you know, like it is just... The, the, but remember the kind of more transparent government oh, we were going to get. Oh, but coming back to fuel efficiency, no one's denying... You know, no one's saying we shouldn't have one. We just shouldn't have what Bowen was proposing. Yes, the market should be deciding. Outrageously, the Corolla Hybrid was going to go up in price because it wasn't meeting the fuel efficiency standard that Chris Bowen But they wanted. also put a luxury car tax on hybrids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On but a car that would reduce cars, your emissions. When you go through the, the cars that are most popular... What is actually climbing and continuing to climb are the hybrids. Correct. And the hybrids are a very sensible solution because guess what? No range anxiety. Because now, you can pop a bit of petrol in if you're going on a longer trip. Correct. 